Welcome back Stingers. Here I am doing seven videos in seven days as promised. I'm a woman of my word. So we're going to go over some of the comments under my videos with in the intent to give you a lesson. I'm going to give you a lesson on self-love, value, Scorpios, relationships, astrology, <laughs> a little bit of everything. And so I'm very excited to always answer questions or comment to comments, never to shame the person or try and make a fool out of them, but in, uh, in turn to actually give you something. So let's see what our first comment is. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius dealing with a Scorpio. Just listen to the language. Deal I'm dealing with them. Doesn't sound like an amazing relationship. I'm dealing with. Listen. Listen to this, guys. Sometimes I don't think you read what you write under my videos. You don't read it. And I want you to read. This is a, this is a writing lesson. Always read it aloud, right? so that you can hear the texture of it, the words, right? Because in your head, when you write, you automatically translate it to what you think it is. When you read it aloud, that is the truth, honey. Listen, I'm dealing, I'm a Sag, dealing. Oof, that sounds like hard work. Dealing with a Scorpio. Dating, basically. It's a new relationship. She's completely smitten by him, LOL. Uh, honey, I don't know what that means. Lately, he has not been texting back. He does work six days a week. And goes to sleep most of the time. This is very long paraphrasing, guys. But what I want, when I want to text, I want him to text me back. Now, this is how I hear it. When I, when I repeat it like that, this is how I receive the, the comment. It sounds like a very babyish, oh, 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 I don't know what's going on. Right? Now, my Venus is in Scorpio, so when I care, I really, really care. Sometimes I am possessed. I don't know if um, I love him. You don't love him, honey. That is not love. <laughs> Far from it. Um, but I really like him, and he's not responding. And this has been driving me crazy, right? Um, she's saying that he's been a little slow. She's trying to be patient. You know, just being a Sagittarius, I don't care if you have a Scorpio Venus. I don't care if you have a Scorpio whatever. You know, that is a fire mutable sign. What is fire mutable? Action, energy, spontaneous. Um, you know quick results, instant gratification, that's what you are. And so you don't even realize it, but Scorpio is teaching you a lesson, not just with patience, just look at yourself. Look at how you behave in the midst of someone not responding to a text message. You know, I personally, I'm a woman of a particular age, so I, I don't even like texting. Call me and tell me what you want. And if you're calling me, you're just arranging to meet. Like anything else is just a bunch of jibber jabber that I don't really have time for and I don't care about. You can tell me that in person where I can look into your eyes and um, you can vocalize anything you want in front of me. Not on the phone or through some silly little, you know, these little cartoon stickers, emojis and things that we send back and forth, which are kind of pointless, right? And so here you have a guy who's taking things slow, which is very smart. This is how you get to know someone. You don't just run into a relationship with hormones and feelings and things like that. Those things aren't real, okay? Those things aren't grounds for a real, solid friendship, which is what you want. And he works six days a week. He's grinding like a man is supposed to be doing. And you want to interrupt him from his job so he can send you a text message. This is an interesting um, thing about me is that I dislike people sending me messages while they're at work. I'm like, wait, 
here at work? Why are you on the phone? Why? What are you doing? Why aren't you paying attention? Why aren't you serious about your career? Why aren't you? <laughs> like it's a whole thing. And I dislike when people send messages while they're driving. I'm like, no, it's nothing that important. Drive, pay attention. Like I have, I have a little bit of a mature standpoint on all, all of these things. And I always have actually, I guess being a 10th houser with, you know, selling them in the 10th house, it's all about, you know, working hard, being stable, paying attention, doing what you're supposed to do, not being silly and like you're at work, like hiding behind the counter. I don't know what he does. Or especially if they have a job where, you know, they work in a hospital where there's people's lives involved or, you know what I mean? Or, and I just like when somebody, oh, no, I'm at work. I could tell. I'm like, no, like I can't. Already you're telling me who you are, you know, because while I'm working, I'm not texting. While I'm doing your chart readings, I'm not texting. While I am studying, you know, my craft, I'm not texting. While I am writing my books, I'm not texting. Like I'm focused on what the hell I'm doing, right? So he's sitting there and he's supposed to get back to you while he's at his job. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I don't know. And I want him to text me back. And I really, really like him. I'm trying to be patient. Like you have no self-control. You have no... Um, that's another thing I dislike. Someone with a lack of self-control. Once I see that, I'm like, ooh. If you're, you don't have any self-control with that, you don't have it with anything. And so you have no self-control. And what do you do when do you work? Where are you when you're like this all day waiting for him? This is, this is, um, this falls into self-esteem, self-love. And you're waiting for that validation so you feel better after he sends you some silly little emoji or text message. This is somebody who's trying to be on their grind. So, you know, I, I never interrupt a man when he's doing two things, especially working, honey, and going to the gym. Because I want you fit and paid, okay? You don't come here with no fat ass stomach. You don't come here with the pockets looking like doggy ears, okay? No. And I see women, he's always at the gym. I'm like, wait, you don't want a lean man who's in shape? Like, what do you, <laughs> he's always at work. Oh, what? Wait, you don't want a man with money? How you, how are you supposed to go out? How are you supposed to pay for your manicure, pedicure, and all the little things that you want him to pay for? Like, are you kidding? Never to, oh, go work, I get your shoes, have all your shit ready. You'll never be late for work with me, ever. <laughs> You'll never miss a gym session with me. Oh, you got to hit the gym, get up, get up. Everything stops, get your shoes on, get up out the door. Come back here with the abs, right? With the strong arms, with the in shape, with the low cholesterol, with the health. I look out for you. That's what a real friendship is. It's not me like, oh, you can be late for work. Oh my gosh, go in the bathroom and text me. And like, what are you doing? What? Are you, what, what? And he's probably testing you for all these things too. Like, hmm. I didn't write this in my book, guys. But I, my, if you've read my book, Dating Scorpio, which you should have. I don't know why you haven't. Okay. I take you through 12 relationships of every zodiac sign. Actually, 14. You get two bonuses. There, I didn't write this in my book. I'm going to give this to you now. The fluffy Scorpio that I dated way back in the Stone Ages. I remember I tested him. I remember that. And it was totally subconscious. It was not on purpose, but this was such a big test. Right? I was a model back then. And... I had an audition for a denim company and I remember it. I had an audition for a denim company and I was with him the night before, which I shouldn't have been. I should have been clear minded, but I wasn't. And I was with him the night before and he was all jealous and shit like that. Like he, he, he wasn't jealous. I would say my past men have been jealous of me personally, not that other men are looking at me. Never that. I never had somebody jealous. Why are you looking at you? I'm going to go find them. Never. They've always been personally jealous of me. Like they wanted to be me. And this guy was no exception. And so he was very excited that he could show off like, oh, I'm with a model. And, I'm, and he's, he was younger. So like it was a double whammy. He was like, oh, I got an older woman and she's a model, right? And so I remember getting dressed for my audition for the denim company and I 
had to go to my other job right after. So I was just like, okay, well, I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late. And he was like, oh, you could be 15 minutes late. It's not a big deal. I was like, oh, wow. This is somebody who's not looking out for you, not looking out for your career, not caring about your accomplishments. Somebody who's fucking jealous, who wants to hold you back a little bit. Oh, you can be late. And I think I wasn't late to my audition, but I was late to work because of the timing issue. But I remember also when I went into my audition, I was so annoyed with him because of a conversation that we had on the way. I was so annoyed with him that they they told my agent, they were like, oh, she seems a little, she's great and we love her body and the denim look great and but she's seeing her personality like she's a little off like she was a little quiet and I really am not like especially when I go to auditions and I'm, I'm very outgoing like I'm very confident in myself but I think that day I was a little off because I was talking to this dummy and he did that on purpose because he's jealous of me like he wanted to be the center of attention like he wanted to be a beautiful model he wasn't shit <laughs> He was in shit. And um, I didn't get the job. And I was so aggravated because I knew that wasn't me. Like, I knew that wasn't what my real personality was. And that was, like, the only thing between me and the job was that I was, like, thrown off. And so he didn't even care. He didn't care that I was late. He didn't care that I was didn't get the job. He didn't give a shit. He was just like, oh, it's not a big deal. It, okay. It, that's not even the point. It doesn't have, like, for me, everything is a big deal. Everything is like, this is what I'm doing. This is my stuff. And so for you, you know, wanting somebody, somebody to text you all the time and give you all this attention. This guy works six days a week on his day off. What is he, what, he doesn't even have time to fart. He has to probably go grocery shopping, do his laundry, clean his apartment. Like, have you ever worked six days a week? I remember working six days a week. Two jobs. Going eight hours to one. And 10 hours to the other, being so tired. And on that one day I had off, that one day, this is back in my 20s, all I wanted to do was sleep. But I couldn't. Why? Because laundry was piling up that I didn't have time to do. There was no food in the house. There was this, that, and the other. You got to... And to have someone sit there, Malika, oh, you didn't call me, bitch. What? I'm not, you know what? I'm not ever going to call you, ever. Like, we don't like that. So, what I recommend for you, get my crash course, Dating Scorpios. Because you sound like the type of person who wants some type of control, and that's never going to happen, okay? And he is subconsciously testing you to see how you respond. And I bet you, you text him, and then you're because you're a fire sign, the next step is to get aggressive. Like, why aren't you texting me back? Like, it's all this force that's going to come out, right? And then that's going to just tell him, like, ooh... Thank you. Let me get the hell out of here. You know, for me, there's been like pivotal moments in relationships where I just fall back because I'm a sun and mooner. So I automatically fall, fall back. I don't have that fire like boom. I just sit back and let the dust settle, let everything marinate. Right. And then I know within that silence, something's going to happen. And so when I hear boom, 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 I'm out. You already that's who he's going to date. You know, this is brand new. The real you hasn't even come out yet. This is your lack of self-control and how you're behaving right now is you putting your best foot forward. When you first meet someone, you have this whole facade. Six months, it takes sometimes a year for the mask to fall off. With Scorpios, even quicker because we, we yank it off. You're showing your true colors, you know? And the person that I was wasting time with, I didn't want to be with that person. You know, you don't care about my work. You can be late. Are you kidding? I would never. <laughs> but man, what's like I gotta be at work at eight? I'm waking your ass up at five. All your shit gonna be ready at the door. Get the hell up out of here. You would not be late. You won't go and make that money and do what the hell you're supposed to do. Period. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope uh, Miss Sagittarius goes and looks within. Ask yourself, why am I dying for attention? Why is this validation so important to me? You are not in love, honey. You are not at all. You're not even close. You are just mesmerized. And mesmerized is something quick and something, you know, uh, easy. There's some type of allure. Uh, Scorpios have that allure, that mystery. He's staying quiet and you're chasing him 
like you know a roach looking for food in the middle of the night i want you to care about yourself i want you to i want you to like yourself as a person and and care about who you are and know that you don't have to wait for someone else to send you a message to, to feel important to feel validated i want you to look in the mirror and care about who you are and not just wait for some guy oh does he like me or what's going on blah 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 blah. you know this is a reflection of you he has nothing to do with this you've concocted this whole story about him in your head and i want you to dive in there and get it together all right guys at my website scorpiosunscorpionmoon.com you can watch exclusive videos i've crashed courses for you guys you can download my audiobook rise from the ashes uh, scorpio's guide self-esteem and rebirth and dating scorpio you can buy the paperback books as well if you're in new york city you can get them at namaste bookshop Boom shanti bookshop on 14th street and quest on east 53rd i have an amazing mastery chart reading if you're interested in knowing what your superpowers are, who your amazing matches, your love matches are, this guy may be not even a match at all. He may just be something you're attracted to. I can tell you, I'll give you birth dates of your perfect matches, of your karmic matches, tell you how important they are. We talk about the career, we go into all of your challenges, how to overcome them, and how to just be the best version of you that you can be. If you want to talk one-on-one, -on -one, you can book a personal live stream session. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm working on my third book. You guys are going to love it. This is absolutely incredible information that you're really going to need. <laughs> and I'll announce that when uh, we are close to being finished. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I'll see you soon.